Welcome to the White Elephant Show, where we gather gifts from that 19 and beyond and see what we love best. Today's theme is gifts for your inner geek. We are quarantined right now at home. Say hi, everybody. Hi. What's up? Hey. What's up? Hey. Hello. All right, well, we're gonna start with the youngest first. So Sarah, pick any of the gifts on the table, but not the bonus gifts. Those are for the final round. I want the banana present, please. You get the... Harry Potter cauldron mug. Yes! Ooh. We are actually doing a Harry Potter marathon at our place right now. This entire week, we're trying to watch all eight episodes. Oh, I thought you meant you were gonna run a marathon in Harry Potter clothes. God, no. Running? <laughs> That's a cool gift. It's definitely a little geeky, though. It's a little geeky. A little bit, a little bit. All right, next youngest, Kyle, you are up. Pick any gift or you can steal. I will go with the little tiny green one. The little tiny green one it is. Thanks for getting dressed up for this, Kyle. Oh, yeah. Kyle, you get a Rubik's Cube speaker. Oh, oh that's wow. pretty cool. It's a light, and I also the speaker is right on the top. And you can call, it's Bluetooth activated, so you can connect it to your phone or other smart device. It just sort of looks like a Rubik's Cube. It's not actually a Rubik's Cube, but it, it just looks like one, you know, for the people that are just a little bit geeky. That's a good one, Kyle. I will mail that to you unless it gets stolen by me. Oh, it's perfect to play my Michael Bolton records. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, we have Kara. What do you want to do? Do you want a new gift or do you want to steal one of these gifts? I want the purple one. Oh. Oh. Oh, I'm so sorry. Hold on. I gotta backtrack. I'm very bad about hosting this. Kyle. You get a bonus Ooh. gift. Good job, Kyle. What an athlete. <laughs> what? What an athlete. <laughs> Takes a real champ. All right, Kara, you wanted the purple one, so I'm gonna open the purple one for you. What you got, what you got? Kara, your gift is the gravity maze. Okay. Ah, uh, puzzles are perfect for right now, dang it. This is a really cool game. Danny, you worked on the video with with me on this, didn't you? Yeah, I did. It's a really cool, it's like a one person puzzle um, slash game. It's kind of like a board game that you can play by yourself and you'll get little cards that tell you uh, how to set up the board and then you have to figure out how to get the little marble to roll from the beginning to the end of the track. It has uh, four different sets of cards, beginner, intermediate, advanced, and expert, depending on the challenge that you're up for. It's a pretty cool game. Joey, do you want to steal a gift or uh, do you want to open a new one? No steals yet so far. I know. I kind of want to go for that bonus gift, but can't pass on the gravity maze, you know? Oh. No. I really like puzzles. What? Virtual steal. Joey, here you go. Thanks, Adam. Let me just uh, put that down here. All right, Kara, uh, what do you want to do? Do you want to steal a gift or do you want to pick a new one? I want to pick the yellow polka dots. Yellow polka dot it is. You get the CyberCling high-end cleaning compound. This is pretty sweet. It's like putty or kind of like a gel that you like roll on top of your keyboard and it'll like clean your all the dust and like hair and crumbs or whatever on your keyboard and your mouse or any kind of like your, your Bluetooth speakers or whatever else, it's pretty sweet. We've been cleaning every day in our house just because like it helps us keep our sanity when we are locked in here for so long. So that'd be awesome, I might steal that. Well Danny, uh, if you might steal it, now's your chance because you're up next. Yeah, I'm, the, give it to me, Kara can't keep it, it's mine. I'm so excited for this. I like a really clean keyboard. And you're terribly messy, so that's perfect. So Kara, uh, do you want to pick a new gift or do you want to steal? Uh, I feel like no matter what I'm going to get stolen from again. There is another bonus gift out there. What the heck, I'll go with the orange or blue one. Thought for sure you're going to steal that gravity maze back. What have we here? Oh, I think I know what this is. It's got to be a mug, right? Incorrect. Kara, you got yourself the space candle. Ooh. Ooh, that one's cool. This is really kind of cool. It is definitely geeky, but I, I will say I'm a little bit of a space and uh, NASA geek myself. You're an enthusiast. Enthusiast, okay, we'll go with that. This candle is supposed to smell like space. Now, that sounds kind of ridiculous, but there's obviously been some astronauts that have been to space and when they close the, the door after like going on a spacewalk, and they take off their spacesuit, they all like describe this smell. I don't really know how to describe it. Do you Do you know how to describe it, Adam? It's all kind of weird though. I've, you know, I'm very unfamiliar with this because I've never been to space before, believe it or not. I know I look like a space boy, but I'm not. It smells exactly like unicorns. 
Like, exactly. I don't know. I'd have to, I don't know how to open it. I am way too caught up on Adam's space boy comment to even, like, <laughs> know what's going on. <laughs> John, you are up next. What would you like to do? You got two gifts left on the table. I really want to know what space smells like. No, John, um, no, you don't. No, you don't. I'll tell you. But I plan on going to space someday. I'm gonna go back to the table. Back to the table. Okay. I love me some kiwi. I gotta, I gotta open the kiwi one. Kiwi it is. John, you got yourself. Let's see. Ooh. What we got? What we got? The Phi Top. No! Oh! This is super cool. I've never actually played with this before. It's a really cool like fidget toy. It looks really neat and you can spin it a certain way on your desk and it does little tricks and it's pretty neat to kind of twirl around. It's like a little chrome fidgeter. You can kind of Spin it around. I'm not very good at it, but. You know, we could also just cut the B-roll. Like, we, that might be fine. Yeah, we'll just cut the B-roll because I'm not very good at this, but it's a perfect fidget toy for your desk. Good choice, John. Good find. There's probably some cool uh, cool physical properties going on there that I don't really understand. So yeah, definitely geeky. Yeah. Perfect. There's definitely physics there. Well, it is my turn. I know there is a bonus gift in here. Convenient. Do I want it? Or do I want to steal a gift from somebody? Yeah, I'm gonna go for the bonus gift. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, Guys, guess what I have? I have a bonus gift in here. Yeah, you got a bonus Surprise. gift. What an athlete. Yeah. <laughs> oh. What an athlete. I got laser chess. Oh, oh, dang it, that's the best one. That's so good. I was just live streaming today and somebody asked me one of my favorite products or favorite games and I said, uh, laser chess. It's like a custom game of chess where you arrange these pieces which consist of mirrors and prisms and different blockers to keep this laser beam from getting to the other opponent's space. So you take turns positioning different pieces and then pressing your laser button and if your laser beam makes it all the way to the other opponent's target, you win the game. It takes chess like up a notch of geekiness and of coolness though. That's true. Cause lasers are both geeky and cool. Yeah, yeah. Laser beams, man, laser beams. I haven't had the chance to play with this, but I'm really excited if it does not get stolen in our next round, which is keep it or steal it round. We are gonna start with Sarah. Danny, I'm stealing that putty from you. I love a clean keyboard myself, so hand it over. Uh, fine, let me, here you go. Oh, here, drop it up high, I'll catch it. <laughs> here we go, I'm gonna toss it. Did that go out of frame? I don't know. <laughs> Adam, you've got a great arm. <laughs> what an athlete. <laughs> what an athlete. Danny, what do you want to do? You're really lucky, Adam, because I would have stolen laser chess, but I actually already own that game. My daughter is a big fan of space, so I want that space candle. Danny. Sorry, Kara. You're playing, not your daughter. You're playing. Hang, hang on, let's bring her in here. Rosalind. Rosalind, come here. You can look her in the face and tell her you don't want her to have a space candle. Do you want a candle that smells like space? Look at the camera and tell. Sure. Say, I really want it. Please don't <laughs> take it from me, Kara. Okay. Okay, go away. You're good. I love you. So, Kara, you've been stolen from. What do you want to do? I'm going to keep the Harry Potter cauldron. That is a good one. I'm going to maybe put some, like, potions or something in there. I don't know. We'll see. We're on to the bonus round. Myself and who else had a bonus gift? Who else here had a bonus gift? Oh, I do. Kyle. The two athletes. Kyle, which gift do you want? My left hand or my right hand? Give me the golden one. <laughs> <laughs> Good choice. Give me the left one. Your left or my left? Either one. All right. We're going to go with this. This is Kyle's bonus gift. Kyle, unfortunately, your bonus gift is not the coolest. You got a pair of broken glasses. Oh, super geeky. Now I'm four eyes. <laughs> oh. This must be the good bonus gift. Oh, guys. What do you got, what do you got? I got Aerogel. This is made of 95% air. It was used on Mars exploration rovers. It helps insulate uh, the electronics on those rovers. It is, oh my gosh. I'm having a hard time even understanding what this is. It, look, it sounds really crazy. 95% air? Yeah. They replace most of the gel in there with gases so that it's super lightweight, but it still has a rigid solid structure. Huh. All right. It is so cool. Guys, that's the end of our game. I'll mail all these gifts to you. And if you guys want to see more awesome gifts you can geek over, head over to bat19.com. And uh, we'll see you next time. See ya. See ya. Bye.
Bye. Later. Later, dudes. Goodbye. Hey, stop biting me. Just say bye. Vat19.com